Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Darius Kashmiri. I'm a Client Services Coordinator with Practical Advantage Communications. I'm Noral Bay Malani. I'm also a Client Services Coordinator. And Susanna Huang. I'm one of our Campaign Book Managers. And we are going to be discussing the City of Irwindale Social Media Project. So a little background. Uh, as already introduced, our client is Iris Espino, the Economic Development Coordinator for the City of Irwindale and also a Pratt grad. So we're really happy to see her come back into the, uh, into the sphere. What goes around comes around. We're happy to see her. Um, Irwindale is a very nice little city. It's nestled in the San Gabriel Valley in Los Angeles County. It's got a lot of nice things to it. Um, Susie will elaborate on that. And we were tasked with getting Irwindale's communications outreach going, uh, and particularly in terms of social media. So we really worked hard on developing some social media work for her, uh, which we'll get into further. So Mrs. Bino came to Pratt and she asked for our help. And so what we did is we developed guidelines and policies to help the city increase engagement and help unify their businesses and residents. So to get into the profile of it of the city, um, it was incorporated in 1957. It's a small commuter town mostly. Uh, with 1,400 residents and a daytime population of about 20 grand in roughly 800 businesses. Uh, main uh, hubs for income include the Miller Brewing Company, the Huifang Food Company as well, uh, known for their sriracha, hot sauce. Um, and mainly, uh, everyone knows Irwindale because of the Irwindale Speedway racetrack. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and majority of the residents, um, well, 1,400 people are uh, multi-generational families. All right, so on September 5th, uh, we were introduced to Iris on a Zoom video call. Uh, we were able to get acquainted with her and what she wanted us to do. Uh, we got further elaboration on the 10th when we sat down with her at this office for a face-to-face -face meeting. So. We were able to get the overall vision of what she wanted to do. So she wanted uniform, uh, some uniformity, transparency, and awareness of the city of Irwindale's social media. Uh, kind of get the ball rolling on that to increase followership and increase awareness of what's going on. Uh, she also wanted to have active and consistent communication through the realms of Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter respectively. And we were able to uh, promote and inform businesses. That's what she really wanted to do. And we also, when we figured that all out, when we were, when after the consultation, we decided, well, you know, we need to figure out what exactly we're working with here. So we decided and ran a uh, SWOT analysis. So these are strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So one of the city of Irwindale's greatest strengths is that it has a working class multi-generation family unit. There's a lot of multi-generation families in there. So that's a really awesome strength to have. However, it's also a bit of a downside because despite having a large multi-generation family group, it's only 1,400 people, so it's a very small community. So developing, you know, trying to develop a social media platform for that was going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, most of the residents were also older and retired. According to our demographic information, uh, it's gonna, it was going to be a bit of a challenge for that as well. We also had, you know, a majority are Spanish speakers, so we thought to ourselves, how are we going to develop some kind of, uh, some kind of inclusive way to include the Spanish-speaking population in uh, our social media program? But we had some great opportunities included. We have, so currently the city of Irwindale is undergoing a website revision, so they're going to have a brand new up and running website fairly soon. So we were trying to figure out maybe we have an opportunity to kind of link via social media. Maybe we can link that website over to uh, on our, on our uh, social media posts. We also were able to uh, have the opportunity we can kind of make it uniform and personalized so we can have a bit more impactful social media posting. So that was a great one. We also thought, well, maybe we could do some focus groups and surveys. And the best one for us, uh, we could go green. So the city of Irwindale can go green. Instead of mailing things out, we can just go completely digital with the social media if we get the enough awareness. Now, there are some threats, though. 
uh, included with this. There were some uh, threats of inconsistency in terms of posting and content. So that's a bit of a threat and also the obvious potential for incorrect information. So, you know, there's a lot of heads going around, a lot of heads on the social media so far. So we have to worry about that. And then other cities like Pasadena and Eastvale have more active social media, larger populations, a little more active and uh, diverse. So with all of this, we wanted to zone in our problem to continue our research. Um, uh, we wanted to tackle the issue of the lack of consistency with these uh, throughout the platforms um, and really uh, make sure that the um, the platforms were tied through no longer tied through individual devices because uh, one of the main issues was that some personnel were logging on to these social media accounts and uh, not necessarily posting at random but there was no consistent schedule so we wanted to focus in on that and project an orderliness and as well as the aesthetic. Um, next slide. So Irwinsville has a lot of opportunities and what we did was we strengthened and enhanced their social media policy. We created a sample templates for each media platform and we designed a, a schedule format to rely on for future posting. We also explored the use of a third party systems to integrate all platforms together. All right, and here's a few examples of some posts that we generated. If you can see on the left, that is an Instagram template. Uh, we're talking about a, uh, it's kind of a mock-up of an Irwindale Speedway event. We have some hashtags down there. We want to utilize the template. We want to utilize each platform to their greatest potential, to their fullest potential, because each respective platform has its own strengths and weaknesses. Then on the right, we have a uh, bit of a, not crisis, but more of an Im like an update, public works update template, um, talking about how there's going to be some construction. So this is a uh, this is another template we have for more of an informational post. Facebook is great; it's a great multi-use platform. It can have some variable uses to it. So this is a great little uh, example of what we were coming up with. Okay, so our main key audience uh, are obviously the residents of Irwindale, the 1,400 residents. And we wanted ultimately for these platforms to unite everyone and not exclude anyone. Um, within the 1,400 people are a Hispanic population, 93% in fact, and 58% of the population are native Spanish speakers. Um, Along with the consistent flow of these posts, we really wanted to include the Spanish-speaking community uh, with Spanish hashtags included um, to link and not exclude anyone. Um, so this will kind of provide up-to-date information within the various departments in the city of Irwindale. So when the campaign, when the campaign began, Irwindale had 430 followers on their Facebook page and they had 904 followers on their Instagram. And their website will soon be a streamlined source of city news and uh, access to information for residents. Their social media percentage breakdown is approximately 75% female, 25% male for Facebook, and their Instagram percentage breakdown sits at approximately 64% female and 36% male. All right, so one f once we figured everything out, when we had all the brainstorming, we decided we need to make some goals. So one of the first goals that we really wanted to achieve was provide an efficient means of communications between the city and its residents and businesses. That's a very big thing that Iris wanted us to do, so we wanted to put that as one of our top priorities. Uh, we also wanted to consolidate the city's social media platforms. Um, again, like I said, each platform has its own strengths and weaknesses, but we also wanted to make it look as clean and as uniform as possible whilst maintaining that diversity. It's also a bit of a challenge because posting on social media, it has to appeal to both the residents and the businesses. And the biggest, that was our biggest issue is how are we gonna appeal to the residents and the businesses? So we took a few steps to that, which we'll outline a little later. Uh, we also, a very big crucial uh, component of this was we wanted to make sure that everything posted on social media was totally transparent. It's very important, uh, especially in a city 
Um, any government agency, transparency is a must. Uh, there is nothing confidential in a city. Um, so we wanted to make sure that everything, the information was transparent. And we also really wanted to reach out. We wanted to find a way that the city of Irwindale can reach out to the community and businesses to collaborate and work together and kind of develop a working relationship more than what they already have. So with a unified social media presence, Irwindale can provide up-to-date information for its businesses and residents efficiently while avoiding unnecessarily, unnecessary clutter. Easy access to information through both an updated city website and improved social media presence, an increased interest and follower account for the city's social media, and departments will have an easy to follow template for social media postings, and Spanish speaking residents are included in the hashtag handles for the city's social media. The city will appear transparent with their day to day activities. So, our vision statement we set up as a class to streamline and propel and make sure that our goals were focused throughout the project and throughout our research. Um, Irwindale is a vibrant growing center of commercial activity with deep rooted residential uh, community. Uh, they are diverse, they're hardworking, and um, they deserve and want engaging and supportive communication. Um, our strategic research based social media policy and action plan will allow the city to efficiently bring all this together, bring all the communication together, and uh, of course, not exclude anyone that flows through the city. Um, they want to make their residents feel included as well as the audience that flows through it. Uh, our objectives are were to develop the hashtags, like we said, that can be used universally throughout all the city departments. Um, aesthetically, we wanted the design to be simple yet unique and create standardized post, post templates. Um, uh, and further, we wanted to provide a template for emergency press releases in case Obviously, anything happens in terms of weather or traffic or, you know, God forbid, anything worse. So what we did for this campaign is we brainstormed to create an organized schedule that helped coordinate the tasks needed to accomplish over the last few months. Our research helped highlight the key demographics and the stats of the residents and businesses in Irwindale. And this provided a clear vision on how we could improve their social media presence and construct a centralized social media policy. Software such as Google Drive enabled our team to collaborate and maintain documentation. And this allowed us to strategize and conceptualize the construction of the social media templates and effectively design a social media policy for Irwindale's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram account. We used template websites as resources to create examples of themed social media posts for daily content and crisis situations. All right. Well, we also had some outcomes. Uh, one of the intended outcomes that we wanted to have was we wanted to facilitate some new improved structure with the city of Irwindale social media. Uh, so we can support some pretty strong, effective communication via each platform. Uh, we included developing appropriate hashtags, with Iris's approval, of course, we wanted to make sure that these were kosher with the city. We also created a supplemental document, uh, you know, highlighting what to post, where to post, how to post, and created templates for the social media accounts so we can make sure that wh whoever's looking at these documents, whoever's looking at these supplementals, will know exactly where goes where and what goes where and how it goes and why it goes there, at least. That's what we intend. So we created a strong, effective social media uh, strategy. It emphasizes the increased continuity and branding of the city of Irwindale across Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We also developed an addendum to the city's current social media policy, as I already stated. So that, that's the big one for us. Example posts, templates, hashtag list, general schedule, when, what to post. That is very important. Um, we also provided recommendations for future, uh, future communication outreach. We were able to include deployment of third party analytics and the development of content outreach for Spanish language speakers as well. Oh, am 
Am I doing that too? Sweet. All right. We also had some unintended consequences that we found. So we were able to find that some businesses and residents weren't able to engage with Irwin Dale's official account. This was in part due to a general lack of social media exposure. So residents had no idea where to even look at this point. So we also found that businesses and residents were also unaware of the newly redesigned website and social media accounts. It's also a very big one too. The renovated website and social media accounts had information that the businesses and residents were not accessing. So we decided it was best to go and look around at Southern California, at various Southern California cities, and see what their best practices were so we could apply that to Irwindale so these unintended consequences could easily become unintended gains, very large gains. And now, following the campaign, we hope that we were able to establish a clearer path towards the growth and success of Irwindale's social media and the overall communication between the city, businesses, and residents of, over, uh, of Irwindale.